This camera can take almost 1,000 frames per second. Well, hello there. You won't believe what I'm recording this video and this audio with right now. Hey everybody, welcome back. Here I am in my office. My desk is still full of cameras. This is just some of them. I have them here so I can just grab one and go. But this is a good time for me to talk about the size of cameras. This is the typical size of a camera, full frame camera, a good one, right? And then you've got your smaller cameras, your APS-C cameras, which are like this. They're smaller, they're more lightweight, but they're still not a pocket camera. You can't really fit one in your pocket that well, especially when it has a lens on it. Then you got what they call pocket cameras, your compact cameras. You got your LX10 or your R100. They're, they're okay. I mean, you can fit them in your pocket, but they still create quite a bulge in your pants. So I am going to show you what I call a real pocket camera. On me right now, I have three cameras. Three cameras are on me right now. They are literally the size of an ice cube. This is a Sony RXO. Here is another one. Here's the second one right here. This is really small. I got three of them. Here's the third one. Now, what they do is, this, this, is, this is the amazing, this is what I thought they did. This is what I assume they did. Is they took a normal camera and they took the eyepiece off. They yanked off the eyepiece and they said, all right, so now we have the eyepiece. We have something for somebody to look at because these things actually have a pretty good LCD screen on there. And so this is basically an eyepiece and they went, mm, it's about one inch across. So let's put a one inch circuit board on here and we'll stick a one inch sensor on there and then we'll put a lens in front of that. So this has got a one inch sensor on it, on this thing. I mean, it's only one inch, it's only one inch in size. I mean, this thing is literally the size of the sensor. And then they put a lens on it and they call it a camera, which is really great. Now, I know this is the, a GoPro, it's compared to a GoPro. I'm gonna get into the specs in a minute. But the really cool thing about this camera, which is, it's, <laughs> this is, I know it's great, this is me, leave it to me to do crazy stuff. It's to not even use it as a camera. <laughs> it has an audio jack in the back. And Sony's got really good audio quality. They have, a real, I, like here's a Sony audio recorder, the D100, this is a really good audio recorder. And they happen to have really good audio on this camera. And because it has an audio jack, <laughs> here we go, this is the crazy idea. You could use this as an audio recorder. You don't even need to use it as a camera. Right now, as you're watching this video, I am talking and recording into this camera. And I'm recording with that camera, which is just a, an old camcorder. You're listening to me now being recorded on a Sony RXO. And it has, I have a DPA 4080 lavalier mic on me. And that's what you're hearing me on. And I'm really thrilled with how versatile this thing is. Because it's so small, it has so many uses. So let's go find another use for this thing. You may wonder why do I have three of these cameras? Well, I could never have enough of them because they're so small, you can stick them in so many places and give you so many really creative angles that you could never get with a heavier camera. They're so lightweight that you can stick them on almost everything. So I have these suction cups here, which are really good, which I'll, I'll put the link down below. These suction cups can stick to any flat, smooth surface. And here's an example. I'm gonna have three or four different camera angles at the same time as I'm driving. And because they're so lightweight and so small, the wind isn't gonna make it bob around very much because it's so low profile. So it should be pretty solid as you're driving down the road at 40, 50 miles an hour. And because they're so small and lightweight, you don't need to put like the regular straps on the car and everything like that. So I use the one with double suction cups when it's outside being buffered by the wind. And this holds really, really good. I mean, this is on there really solid. And then in the back of the car, I have one that I literally just stuck to the license plate. The license plate is a little textured, but it's still sticking on there really, really good. Cause I want to get the logo of the car on here so I have it coming up from there. I could have had it up here put an extension arm so it's holding but this is more low profile and there's less wind hitting it here and I can also stick one on the side of the car which I'm going to do later on and this one I'm going to stick to the windshield to film me talking and this is the one I'm going to use for the audio recorder it's amazing this thing has an audio jack so I'm going to stick the audio cable in here and on the other end is a DPA 4098 professional microphone. It's like a little tiny miniature shotgun mic. And this is what they use in reality shows to film people talking in cars. And what you do is you attach it to the visor of the car. And it has a little bendable 
it's like a podium microphone and you can bend it to aim it at whatever you want so I can aim it down at my mouth and then this sticks to the windshield this is the one that has the flippy screen so I can see myself so this one is more important to actually see what you're doing because I got to position myself the other ones I don't need the flippy screen for what I'm doing so we're ready to go now I've got the microphone up here aiming like literally like two inches from my mouth so and my, the, the cameras here so that now you can see why these cameras are good it's good to have so many of them because you can stick them in so many places so let's go for a drive versatile you can use them for so many things and I know that GoPro is used for this kind of stuff but there are advantages to having these little cameras because the audio quality the video quality it can you can use it as a still picture camera if you want to take still pictures if you're on vacation and you really don't want to take a big camera this thing is literally the size of an ice cube that you can put in your pocket it's not even the size of a camera it's the size of a, a little tiny rock or something. And the thing about Sony cameras is they're notorious for overheating, especially when you're out in the hot summer air like I am. I live in Las Vegas where it gets to be 120 degrees, which is pretty brutal on any camera. I mean, I guess if you can do your talk within five minutes, you should be okay, as long as you're not doing a half hour long lecture on something. So I just changed the angle of some of the cameras. It's so fast to just pull the suction cups off and stick them somewhere else in the car. It takes literally seconds. It's amazing how easy that is. I'm gonna put the links down below as to where to get those things. You can get a one cup or a two cup. I think they even make a four cup, but the two cup is more than enough for these little tiny cameras that weigh nothing. No straps needed to hook onto the car or anything like that. It's pretty amazing how versatile these things are. I've said that already, didn't I? Plus the cameras are so small that they don't look like a big professional Hollywood rig that people are going to get people's attention and cause a stir wherever you go. They're so small, like you can't even see them on the car. This is what the same microphone sounds like in a quieter car, by the way. <laughs> don't think it's bad audio. I just wanted to show the worst case scenario for the other car. Uh, if it could sound good in that other car, then it, it should be good. Anyway, this is a quieter car and it's the same DPA 4098. Going into uh, the RXO. The RXO has a standard quarter inch mount underneath it, whereas the GoPro doesn't. It needs its own special mounting equipment. This one, you can use any normal photographic mounting equipment for, for this thing. It even has a built-in microphone, which you're hearing right now. This is a built-in microphone. And now I'm using a Body Mics DH3 headside mic right here seeing this plug right into the RXL. Let's see what this sounds like. Okay, now I'm in the studio and I have a shotgun mic hooked up to it. This is a Sennheiser ME66 right here over my head. And I have this big mic going into this little tiny camera through an XLR cable, although you could use a wireless system too. Well, hello there. Now I'm also speaking to you from a newer NW1500 plugged into the Sony RXO, which I'm filming it with right now. Now I know there's some small audio recorders like the Tascam DR10L or the Zoom H1 or the DR05, but that's all they do is record audio. They don't have a high definition camera attached to them. Wouldn't it be best to just have something that does everything? If you want to take pictures, you want to take video, you want to have audio, you want something you could throw at somebody in self-defense, there you go. You can even get these cool ND filters which clip over the whole front of the camera, which is kind of cool. This tiny little camera has a flip up screen so you can see yourself on there. See yourself? So you can do selfies with it. Hi there. The GoPro is intended as an action camera. This isn't actually, even though it is pretty much the same shape and size. This isn't to be intended more on bookshelves, 
stick them on windows, cars, anything that, uh, you know, where you want to have a little tiny camera stuck to something that isn't going to be shaking around very much. I mean, you could use it as an action camera, but it doesn't have image stabilization, so it's going to shake a lot more than a GoPro. It's got a much bigger sensor, or four times bigger than the tiny GoPro sensor. They both have microphone jacks, they both have Wi-Fi, and can be operated with your cell phone. Both are waterproof or shockproof, so you could actually drop this thing underwater and film, <laughs> and it'll still work which is amazing. This is so cool with the flip up screen. It's so small and it has an HDMI output so you can actually have a monitor hooked up to it. This has got quite a few cool little features to it. Uh, it's so small you can <laughs> you can wear it as a necklace. It's a great dash cam, it's a great travel cam, it's a great going out on the town cam or just have in your pocket to be ready to film something if needed in an emergency. It just it's because it's so small. I mean it can, this thing can go anywhere. It only weighs 3.9 ounces. It has a 24 millimeter Zeiss f4 lens. It can take 21 megapixel stills. It has endless white balance modes. You can manually adjust the contrast, the saturation, the sharpness, the gamma, the color color phase, the color depth, it's just endless what you can adjust on this thing. It offers S-Log2 and all kinds of custom Cine Gamma picture profiles. It has eye autofocus so it automatically focuses on someone's eye. This thing can shoot video up to a thousand frames per second. In other words, super slow motion. It can record in stereo, LPCM, and Dolby digital audio. It has the famous Sony background noise reduction. It can simultaneously record a super high quality 60p or even 120p XAVCS and an MP4 movie at the same time. Two movies at the same time in different formats. It can record time code. You can zoom in and out with this thing. You can control it with your smartphone. In fact, you can control six to eight of these things at the same time with your smartphone. So basically it's higher resolution, faster, more accurate autofocus, weighs less. The GoPro on the other hand costs only half as much, but you're only getting half as much. The GoPro only has an ISO up at 3200. This goes over 25,000. Another cool use of this thing is to stick it on top of another camera a bigger camera. You can be doing making of behind the scenes shots or shooting video while this camera is taking stills. It's so cool as a backup device or you could have a camera even like for example here. Let's say we have a, a video camera here and you're shooting with a camcorder and I think I mentioned this in, a, in another video. So let's say with this camera, you're shooting your close-ups and things for people's faces, but this camera is shooting the wide shot. So you're getting both close-up and wide shot at the same time, so you don't have to shoot it twice. So there's some really cool uses, and look how small it is. I mean, you could have like two or three of these things sticking off from different angles and have each one with a different, uh, you know, wideness to it. But this is so cool to use just as a secondary view of what you're doing or, or a backup camera. If this one fails to work, you've got a backup footage. I'm still recording the audio on this thing as, as we talk. This is a bit, look at the, the, the connection uh, cable is bigger than the camera. I'm recording this audio right now on this thing. This is the camera. You can actually use this as your tourist camera to take pictures, to take video, and it's so small. I mean, you could take your, tell your girlfriend to carry it in her purse if you don't want to have it in your pants. But this is, or like I said, carry it as a, have it as a necklace, stick it in your hat. There's just so many, anyway. All right, I'm getting crazy here. So that's my thing for today. Camera the size of an ice cube. Thought you might enjoy it. Um, not that cheap, $700, but it's so useful to have. You get what you pay for. Um, anyway, so I'll see you in the next video. Time to say really cool things to you and show you stuff that a lot, a lot of people know about or think about. Alternate uses for things, weird stuff, that's me. I'll see you in the next video. Marcus over and out. Oh yeah, one more thing. For those of you who stay to the end of the video, congratulations because I'm gonna give one of these away. I'm gonna give one of my RxOs away, a $700 camera. I'm gonna give one of these away, not the one with the flippy screen, that's that's for me. This is one without the flippy screen. Uh, I'm gonna give one of these away to, let's say, the uh, fifth person that emails free stuff at marcuspix.com. And uh, if you live in the United States, that's great. If you don't, only do this if you are willing to pay for the customs fees when they stop this at the border. If you, if you are not in another country, then don't worry about it. But you got to email me the, your mailing address to freestuff at marcuspix.com and I will pick the fifth person and 
whoever I do not send it to, I'm going to throw those emails away. I do not keep them. I don't keep a little secret file. So there you go. Okay, bye. Oh boy, oh boy. The things that I do for entertainment and education. What a way to spend one's life. YouTube has changed everything. I'm not even monetizing my YouTube videos. How silly is that? I'm a nice guy. How many of those are left in the world? <laughs>